Hello ladies and welcome to another video. Today I have for you swatches of a collection that I have been dying to try since the moment I saw it. I saw a fellow YouTuber and Instagram nail artist, her name is Brandy, and she shared all the swatches of this collection and since I saw them I just knew that I had to have them. To be more specific, I wanted 5 out of the 6 polishes that this collection had, however it was cheaper to get all of them than buying them individually, meaning that getting 5 out of 6 was more expensive than getting the six of them. Anyways, I got my hands on them. They are all so pretty and the collection that I'm talking about is Bustling Bazaars of Morocco by Essie. This is their summer 2020 collection. There are a lot of pretty colors. I'm going to show you live swatches of these so you can see how the application is and so you can know a little bit more about the formula too. So we're going to dive right in but before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. It really helps me get more people so they can enjoy more of my content here, everything that is nail art related. So now, let's keep watching! As I mentioned, this collection has six different nail polishes. They are all cream polishes except for one. And I'm gonna go full details in here. As you can see the color palette, this was inspired by Morocco. So you can kind of see where this is going. We're gonna go in full details and let me tell you, we'll start strong. All right, this just happened to be one of my favorite ones in the entire collection. And this is described as a bold and burnt red nail polish. Another thing that is very important is that all these polishes come with white brushes, which makes the application a lot easier. So the description wasn't messing around when it said that this is a bowl polish because it is, but the best thing right here is that it was a one coater for me. How amazing is that? I have short nails, so if you have long nails, you may need two coats, but for me, it was perfect in one. While well, you look at this amazing polish, I want to say real quick that each of these polishes retail for $9, but you may find a better deal if you get to buy them all at the same time, then you will be getting a better price. This nail polish right here is the only one that is not a cream polish. This is described as an enchanting gold nail polish laced with ultra fine glitter and shimmer. I would say this is more like a shimmer nail polish and of course as every other shimmery I wasn't expecting for it to give me full opacity on the first coat but it was very shiny and very pretty. It actually kind of gives that powder effect. I don't know if you have ever tried powder with gel polish but this is kind of what came to mind when I was applying this. The application went on very smoothly and I'm just really happy with how shiny this nail polish is. This is how it looks without top coat. Looking at it by itself you wouldn't think that this is a summer color, but if you pair it with the rest of the polishes in this collection, you would see how amazing this would look. It would definitely make a perfect summer manicure. And the next swatch that I'll be sharing with you is a purple nail polish. Once again, I do not like purple nail polishes that much. However, I don't have many in my collection and also it was cheaper to buy all six polishes rather than buying five, so I kind of had to get it. One thing is that the formula is really good. Even on the first coat, it didn't give me full opacity, but the application went on very smoothly. However, this is described as a bright and playful purple nail polish, cream formula. I do not think that this is a bright purple polish or maybe I'm just seeing it differently but for me this is like a lilac color and I feel like this one will look a lot better in a spring collection rather than a summer collection but still there is options. So from the least favorite we move on to one of my absolute favorites in this collection and this is the name of the collection itself. It's Bustling Bazaar and this is described as a dramatic dusty blue nail polish and once again this is a cream formula. As much as I love this color I was kind of disappointed of how it looked on the first coat. You can see that on the first coat it was a little bit patchy but nothing that I could have fixed after the second one. I feel like after the two coats it just looked perfect. I got full opacity. I couldn't see my nail line anymore and the color was just so bright and shiny. So this is pretty much what I've been liking the most about this collection is that these polishes are super shiny even before applying a top coat. 
This next nail polish right here is described as a warm and earthy nude nail polish and once again this is cream formula. I like this color a lot and the application went on really really good on the first coat. However, I was a little bit concerned that this color doesn't really look like a summer nail polish. I would see this working for fall. I feel like they were trying to get inspired by a location and probably this color was part of it so i kind of see why they included it but if you're a person who don't care about what colors you wear on your nails during summertime let me tell you this is a beautiful color the only thing is that i don't feel like it really stands out on my skin tone as much as i love it i just don't feel like this will work as a plain manicure for me and most likely i'll be using these for some nail art and we have made it to the last swatch. This is a creamy and radiant coral nail polish. Once again, cream formula. To be honest with you, I feel like this looks very different on the nail comparing how it looks in the bottle. But another thing to think of is my skin tone. I am a brown girl and probably this color looks a lot more orange on me because of my dark skin tone compared to someone who will be on the lighter side. It would probably not look as bright. I really like the color but the only problem that I had is that I had to apply three coats. I'm not a big fan of polishes that you have to use three coats because it's just extended drying time and to be honest you don't want to spend that much time applying your nail polish but the color is pretty but not really what I was expecting from the formula comparing it to everything else in the collection and right here I have my favorite ones the red and the teal polishes are absolutely stunning the formula on the red one was incredible and then the teal is just summertime for me. I feel like these two pair with the golden shimmer will look absolutely perfect for a summer manicure. And on the other hand, we will have what is my least favorite ones in the collection. Nothing really bad with the formula, just that the purple one seems like a spring polish for me. And then the yellow one will look more like a fall polish. But once again, if you're not that picky about what colors you wear during summer or fall or spring, these formulas are perfect. All right, and that is everything that I wanted to share with you today. To be honest, I am fascinated with the formula in this collection. I also love that they have included the white brushes because that just makes the application a lot better. And just in general, this collection, I feel like it is going to be big for summer. I like the colors, mostly two of them because they have the best formula and the colors were just on point. As I said, I did not really like much the purple. Nothing wrong with the formula, it's just that I don't personally like purple polishes, but I still think that it was a good addition to my collection because I don't have many polishes like that. And real quick, I want to mention that I purchased these polishes myself. I got them off Polish Pick. I have seen many nail artists talk about this store before, so I figured I would give it a try and my experience was really good so if you want to get these polishes right now you can check the link in the description box you don't have to buy the entire collection you can only buy one two or as many as you want there are many other collections that are different brands so if you're not into essie polishes there are opis china glaze and many other nail polish brands that you may like as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it also please don't forget to share this with someone that you think that will enjoy watching this video and also don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot more cool things coming up thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one. Goodbye.